how to change Epic Games email without verification. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video helped you out, please let me know in the comments or just leave a like so I actually know that this video has in fact helped you out. But pretty much what we want to do is um, go to the top left on support. Once you are here, you want to click on accounts. This will bring you over a little bit to the bottom. Then here you want to click on accounts. And then um, you want to click on contact us. So here we can see we're here to help uh, log in, but obviously we are not able to log in. So I'm, I'm unable to log into my account is where we actually want to click on. And here, if you um, scroll a little bit down, you can see I don't have access to the email on my account. I want to change it. Click on here and once again, click on contact us. Here we have to enter the current Epic Games email address. So this is the one that you do not have access to anymore. And also your current Epic Games account display name. Once you fill this in, you want to click on next step. And here we want to enter a new email address where uh, the one we pretty much now want to add to our account. So the pretty much your new email address you have maybe just created or one you have already had for a long time, but you simply just want to add this one to your old account. Then once you fill that in, you want to click on send verification email. Then this is what the email will look like. So simply just copy this code, go back and just paste that in here, click on next step. So here we have additional account info. We can help you better and faster if you provide as much and as detailed information as possible. So here you can add your first email address, but um, that is if you have, for example, changed your email address before you have um, lost your access to the account. Uh, but if you do not have that, then you can do that. You can also have your first display name, but let's say you've never changed your display name, then this is also impossible. What you can do though, is let's say you are on PlayStation as well. Here you can add a connected account. So here you can, for example, select PlayStation, then here enter your PlayStation display name, and then um, your approximate account connection date. So just, uh, it says approximate. So it's just, just think about, okay, maybe three years ago back when uh, in the first month of when a, when school started, for example, just fill in that over here. So it is approximately um, around that time. And you can even add different uh, accounts like Google, uh, Facebook and everything. So here it says, um, if you do not have a uh, change it in the, in, in the first place, then just simply add the one that you have filled in as the current email address so that's what i'm going to fill in uh again then it will ask this and you simply just have to click on yes because you just simply have never done that before then you want to click on continue and here we can see please provide the following purchase information so we can help you better and faster if you provide as much and as detail as possible so these are all optional as well but here you can see the four digits of the oldest credit card used to purchase here we can also see please attach screenshot of the oldest receipts of purchase made with the account now keep in mind that even uh, like epic games has lots and lots of free games they give out even those are pretty much receipts or purchases so if you have any receipts of those free game purchases then please make sure to add that over here because that will also help you uh, retrieve your account now the more um, information you provide the easier it will be to get your account back then the last step is to simply click on continue and hopefully they'll get back to you as fast as possible and hopefully they'll be able to change your email and um, yeah you can get your account back as soon as possible so that is how to change epic games email without verification